Hi everybody, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today I'm going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect and I have been very excited to hop in. On the last episode, we mainly hung around the Citadel. That's pretty much all we did. We finished up a lot of the side quests. We were finally named Spectre. I think now the next thing that we need to do is go talk to the commander and leave the Citadel and go on some more adventures. So I'm excited to hop in today because I know that we're finally done here on the citadel for now i don't know if we're gonna come back if i had to guess we probably will be back here a few more times i didn't end up finding the last keeper but i think before we leave i am gonna ask avina because a, a couple of you guys said to maybe ask her about the keepers and get some lore behind there so we're gonna on our way out to the commander talk to avina and see if she can maybe give us a hint on where the last one could be but I'm not really sure where we could have missed the last one. Let's get started. I'm excited. I'm going to grab my invisible juice. <laughs> it's actually Gatorade, but it's like, I guess the perfect shade of green. So it doesn't actually show up. So it looks like I'm drinking nothing. Mm. Delicious, delicious, invisible water. I guess water is technically invisible. <laughs> I gotta say so far, I'm really enjoying all the sounds in this game. All the like futuristic sounds and even like the music and stuff everywhere. It's very good. Let's see if maybe he's in flux. I can't remember any other like bar areas that are anywhere else <gasps> doesn't seem very phased shells yeah what is it um what happened why were you tossed out of there Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. An experiment? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. So why do it? Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. But that's cheating. It's the same as counting cards. You can't do that. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Oh my gosh. I just need a few more wins recorded. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'm nervous. I feel like we shouldn't help him cheat. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Uh, why don't you just sell it as it is? Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Hmm, we get to keep our winnings. Some money would be good. I think on the renegade scale, we're slightly, like there's a slight, <laughs> a slight bit of red. Maybe if we just do this one, Thing for him. Um, it will be okay. For money. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. We're gonna Here get kicked go. out too, aren't we? Recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Oh boy. Let me take a look at what our thing is. 
I did set up auto points for um, my squad so that I don't have to go through and do it myself. So hopefully that helps us a little bit. I also put um, some points into Spectre training, Infiltrator, and Charm, because we finally got the next few like bumps in Charm. But yeah, here's our Renegade, and here is our Paragon. So we're a little bit higher on Paragon. We have a little bit of Renegade in there. I didn't realize that depending on where the response is, that's like your Paragon answer, like moderate answer, and then the Renegade answer. That's really good to know. Thank you guys for all of your comments and tips and stuff. It's been awesome meeting this community so far. There's that lady again. More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI. Yes, but there's more. Yeah, there are always these. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. It's good to hear. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. <laughs> I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're the one who wanted her back. Commander, thanks again for all your help. Okay. This is the bouncer. Hey, good to see another human in here. Maybe they won't throw me out since I'm a human. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay. Hey there, welcome to Flux. I'm guessing our dude isn't in here. Oh yeah, this is the security guy. Oh no, it's Doran. Didn't Doran watch him get thrown out? Hello again. Can I help you? Give him shell's tool? I could. Do you own this place? Hmm, what happens if I turn in the tool to this guy? I mean, I really don't condone cheating. I think that it's the same as counting cards, what he's doing. What happens if we get caught? My stomach is in shambles. I'm going to give him the tool. I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. <laughs> Do I get a payment? <laughs> Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the quasar. On the house. I should be going. Okay. Enjoy your time here well, in Flux. Well, now we can play... Now we can play for free a couple times. Um, pay zero, pay out zero credits. Wait, are we still paying for this? So we, we have to meet, we have to get to 20, right? All right, so let's add 13. What if we get eight? If we do four to seven, it might be okay. Four to seven, because seven, it would be 20. What are the odds that we would get seven? Let's do one to eight and hope that we don't bust. Oh, we got 18. Nice. Okay, we should pay out. 18 is good. Would you like to play again for 20 credits? I thought that he said that they were going to be on the house. That's dumb. We didn't even get it on the house. All right, let's go ahead and leave this area. I don't know how we happened upon this like whole shenanigans, but it did happen. I wonder if he's, oh, should we talk to him? Oh, I don't want to face him. He seems so nice. So did you record five wounds with the device yet? <laughs> um, it's gone. Actually, I gave your device to Doran, but that was years of work. What am I going to do now? You could put your talents to better use. True. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. I'm so sorry, but cheaters can't prosper. Cheaters can't prosper. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll run into that guy, that bar guy, um, at some other point. So the um, 
Conrad Werner dude. Maybe we'll see him on another day. I'm not sure where exactly to find him. So now we just need to go to the CSEC Academy. Meet him at the Alliance Docking Bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Okay. So let's go ahead and run down this way. Oops, that was a weird loading screen. Um, yeah, to CSEC Academy. And I think that there's an automated person down here, right? Let me see. Because we were going to talk to that lady before we left. Uh, this might be taking me straight up. I'll just start this elevator. Can I not... Oh, there's the button. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Hmm. Okay, we've arrived. So let me look at my map real quick and see if we can ask about the keepers. Looks like we have to leave first. To docking bay, lower wards, presidium. All right, let's go to the presidium real quick. Just wanna see if I can find this last in keeper. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the council has reportedly revoked the specter status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Hmm. Sounds like he was arrested. I think there was... Was there one over here? There's one in the center over here. Yeah, up there. I remember now. Okay, let's see. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Spectres, Embassies, CSEC, and the Citadel Council. Maybe... Goodbye. This Goodbye, isn't the one I'm supposed to talk to. There was one that was standing right beside a keeper. It might be this one, actually. Outside of the Citadel Tower. I think Eugene that's... Avina, please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I think that's where we saw the one that was... Okay. Because I remember one had a keeper right next to them. Because I was nervous about scanning it in front of her. I didn't know if she was going to say something. But she just said, like, stay away from the keepers. <laughs> or something along those lines. So I think sh they might be, like, straight ahead. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there's the keeper. And then there's the... Okay, cool. It's the last one to scan. Oh, it didn't let me scan it because she yelled Welcome at me. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. 
Wow, that's a nice way to put all of that. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers mm. can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Why here? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. In the Council Chamber itself. Hmm. That's all for now. Okay. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. What's that? So I can't scan this one. Please do not disturb the keepers. Yeah, she says no, you cannot. <laughs> oh, okay, just telling me that it's the Citadel elevators. Let's go check around here again. In light of the I don't recent know. attack on Eden Prime, many Maybe colonial it's in here. investors are pulling their support for future projects. Or maybe Proponents it's... Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Or maybe... We just can't find this one. And, like, we're not allowed to scan that other one. Let's see. Yeah, it still says 19 out of 20. Hmm. In the Citadel Tower itself. I know we saw two in here, but maybe it's in like the chamber area. Like, can we get over where they stand? When they were holding our meeting. There's Gareth. Okay, these are like doors that we cannot go into. Yeah. So let's see. Maybe. That one's already scanned. I know we got the one like over there. There was one over there as well. But, oh, there's one. I don't think I scanned this one. Why did Rex just say, huh? I've always wondered if the Turians released the gentle page on their own, or if the council secretly encouraged them. Mm. It's the last one. We did it! 1550 coin? And 512 XP. Holy moly. That was definitely worth completing. All right. I'm going to do one in Infiltrator so we're maxed out. And then the rest I'm going to pump into Charm. I would like to be more charming <laughs> than intimidating. Because um, I do want to have myself be on the Paragon board. Maybe with a slight bit of Renegade. Um... Just because that's kind of how I envision my character to be. Nice. I'm glad that we found the last one. All right. Now we can finally go to the CSEC Academy and get the next part of this main quest started. Um, wait, it is in the wards, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. CSEC. I'm excited. I think we're about to leave. I think we might be leaving this area. So let's see. Traffic control. I know I saw them at one point. Maybe they're in the docking bay. 
In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yeah, they're out here. Okay. Wait, do I actually have to, like, talk to... That guy? No, it just, it's done now. Okay, cool. He got all of that he needed to get. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. What? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. I know. Are you going into forced retirement? What's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Is there any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Oh my god. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Is that it? <laughs> I'm on it. Count on me. You can count on me. Thank you for the ship. Holy moly. I'll stop him. That was wild. He just we gave us the whole ship. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Mm, I'll start there. I'll start with Pharos, or I'm going to Novaria. Um, that's nice that it lets us decide. I guess we could start there. The Artemis Tau Cluster? I think that's one of the ones that we have, like, a side quest on. Okay. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. It might be necessary. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. All right. Yes, Commander? Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. You and Saren have a past. Why didn't you tell me? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why did you hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. 
I had a chance to become the first human specter, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I guess that's a point. But he knew that we were trying to be a specter. Why didn't he? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I understand why he didn't tell us, because his pride is obviously hurt, but... I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. But something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Jeez. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Oh my god. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. How did you get blamed for that? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. It's not fair. It wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. Yeah. If so, he pulled it off. Well, he hates humans, so it's it makes sense that he would do any, either of those things. He likes violence. He likes, you know, making humans look bad. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. It's okay. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Right. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the specters. If so, he pulled it off. Captain, I'm getting some deja vu. <laughs> just kidding. This doesn't... The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. Yeah, let's go stop You're him. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the... Let's place. stop him. Um, I want to know more about these places. So, Pharos. Tell me about Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Hmm, okay. What about the Artemis Tau Cluster? What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What about Novaria? Isn't that the cold one? What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Dang. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay. Well, I don't know which one we should do first. I think that we might just go to the cluster because I told him that I was going to do that, but we could really go anywhere, I think. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. We can read the journal to make a decision if we want to. But look at our new ship. It's shiny and it's called the Normandy and it's beautiful and it's ours now. This is really cool. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for the ship. Normandy weapons. 
What? All right, let's just get on. I'm excited. <laughs> this is so cool. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Close the door. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I think we should be honest with everybody. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Eden Prime was just the start. Humanity must do its part. Nobody's going to help us. Um, Eden Prime was just the start. Let's prep them. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. We must not fail. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. That was cool. That was very cool. We got two Paragon points. All right. Um, Let's take a look at our journal. Let's see what we have in here. So we can find Liera Tassan, an Asari archeologist famed for her knowledge of the Protheans is being sought by Saren. Her last known location was somewhere in the Artemis Tau cluster. Novaria, Geth Interest. The Council has received reports of Geth Interest in the corporate research colony of Novaria. The Council needs to know why. Or Pharos. There was actually an attack there. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharos. Your primary objective is to go to Zoo's Hope colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. I think we should find her first. We should find this archeologist because she knows a lot about Protheans. So maybe if she can help uncover what is happening, she'll be able to give us more insight on all of this. But something's telling me to do this attack first. Like they're actually being like, they need help. They're being attacked. Mm. Let's do Pharos. Pharos, and then we'll find Liara, and then... Because this is, like, happening now. Like, they, they need our help, for sure. So let's go to Pharos. So do I just tell him where I want to go? Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. <laughs> the Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. He's so cocky. <laughs> um, what is I just want to talk? That seems weird. I'm not going to do that. I have to go. I have to go All figure right, out how to get where I want to go. <laughs> Be right back. Maybe we put it into the control panel. This looks promising. Maybe like if I stand up here. Galaxy map. Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. 
gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Crazy. Okay. So that's the Citadel. Am I actually traveling? So how do I move this thing? Citadel. How do I go to the other places? Hmm. Maybe because we haven't discovered anywhere else yet? because we were really zoomed in. <gasps> this is crazy. All right, here's Novaria. That's the asteroid cluster that that one dude was like panicking because of his brother. Maybe we should go help him first. Asgard. Should we go help this guy? Utopia. <gasps> oh my gosh, this place is ginormous. I don't know what to do first. I'm overwhelmed. Gemini Sigma. Can we go to literally any of these places? Oh my goodness. All right. What were we going to do first? I think we were going to go to... Um, in Novaria, because that's the one that's being attacked right now, right? No, 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 it was Pharaoh's. Okay, so let's go to Pharaoh's first. This is crazy. All right, to Pharaoh's, which we have to go here anyways. So let's just stop here first. Maybe he'll be, maybe they'll be over here. We can rescue him on the way to Pharaoh's. I feel like that makes the most sense to me. So cool. So cool. All right, asteroid X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point at the at, of the gas giant Bohr. With the increased development on Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57, using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova. All right, let's land there. Um, I think we should bring... Let's bring Rex. And... Tally. I don't know if we'll need tech strength or not, but it's probably good to have tech strength. Okay. Looks like Earth. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Holy moly. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. 
Shut down the fusion torches. We're going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Is that our rover? <gasps> this is so cool. We're on a rover. This is so cool. All right, I think we need to go destroy these crazy torches. And we probably should hurry. Oh. Right I don't know who you are, but I did. Oh my god. We're going to explode. Is there another one behind me? I don't think so. This is so cool. <laughs> Flying. All right, there's another guy up here. Okay, where's the other one? How do I get out of here? Do I go inside? Am I supposed to go in here or just like try to destroy this this way? It wasn't really clear. Let me see what's in here. It's very bright in here. Okay. How do I turn it off? Let me go towards this explanation point. Maybe if I do like X or H or something. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't. I have to get out. <laughs> I, J. Hmm. Let me look at my controls real quick. It would be really nice if they told me, but that's okay. Um, key bindings. Okay. I remember seeing one for vehicles. So let me look through. Move forward, backward, left, right, shoot. Ooh, fire cannon. We have a cannon. Toggle aim, left control, repair, jump jets, booster. Oh, Q. Q is to exit. Okay. Nice. There's dead people in here. Oh man, all right. What in the world? Batarians. Batarians. Rock! Check! Check! Oh, heck no. Good job, guys, let's go. How's everyone's health doing? We're all fine. I'm going to shotgun my way in here. There's someone behind here, I think. Get blasted. There's someone over here as well. Okay, yep. He's kind of far away for a shotgun. Maybe a pistol will do. <laughs> okay, he's down. The other dude's over here. Oh, he's like right behind that wall too. guy over here wait there's someone over oh no 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 i'm just mishearing the combat in here is a lot of fun but it's really also like the sounds are not very good <laughs> like i'll feel like something is right behind me but it's not wow they have a
have a lot of health. There we go. Alright, it's safe now. Cool. I got juicy. What's healing again? Why? Nope, V. Okay. See if we can figure out how to turn this thing off. If I had to guess, it's probably somewhere up here. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Maybe it's in this room. Mm, must be up here. Things over here. Okay. I thought maybe there was going to be some loot or something. Okay. Disable torch. I'm reading that the torch is offline. Nice. Was that you? Can you hear me? Who is this? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. What do they want? Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've got to go. Good luck. Maybe that person standing with her is that guy's brother. Possibly. All right, let's see if any of these weapons are upgrades for me. Um, accuracy and damage, mm, no. The same. No. These better. That one's the same. Actually, I might give that to somebody. Accuracy 50. No, 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 no. I like the first aid one for us. I think that's a good upgrade to have. What do I have on my sniper? Hammerhead rounds. Let's do armor piercing. Yeah. Armor piercing. And. Yeah, let's do the kickback one. That, was, that would be nice. Or we could do that for the shotgun. The shotgun really doesn't have that bad of a kickback though. Neither does the sniper rifle for what it is. Honestly, the kickback is not bad at all. Um, it's fine. All right, let me take a look at what you've got. Oh, you actually have something that's, eh. I'm going to give you this one. You can have this one. And then I'll melt this one. Let me see what you've got going on. Let's give them both this, like, toxin armor upgrade. And he uses the assault rifle quite a bit, I think. So let's see. Let's do the hammerhead rounds as well as basic rounds. Oh, just kidding. I can only choose one. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So you get an ammo upgrade and then a weapon upgrade. So what did we have on there at first? I think it was armor piercing rounds. Or maybe hammerhead. This one's fine. 
And uh, I'm going to give Tally. this combat sensor okay nice do we have any upgrades we do uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put them into charm i feel like i should be focusing on electronics a little bit more than i am uh but i don't know Opens new dial-up options, give 5% a discount. Okay, let's go ahead and do that one first. Now we have all of the charm that we can possibly get, and then I think I'm gonna pump the rest into electronics. I think that's what I should start doing now. Or at least one of us should have electronics. Okay, that one. Well, she has quite a bit, actually. And I like taking Tally with us, mainly because of the electronics and the decryption and stuff that she has. Okay. So let's go back to our rover and see if we can get the next one of these. How did this wheel get in here? Was that here when we got here? I don't think it was. Also, I know this is probably like who the heck are you? Hey. <gasps> oh god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? What were you thinking? <laughs> um, I'm okay. My shields took the hit. No damage done. I'm with the Alliance. Commander Shepard. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen. We don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Aww. Nice community. Good schools. I understand the situation. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. Oh, great. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Can you shut them off? You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside mm -hmm. the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen, I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Where would your crew be? Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. Okay. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. Hmm, one of them got away. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. I feel like evacuating Terra Nova would be near impossible. He said there's over 4 million people down there. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off world. Yeah, we there's just no don't way. have enough ships. No one does. Well, Maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. <laughs> Tell me about this asteroid. How did this even happen? Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end, you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. He's got some wild facial expressions. 
can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. They find her. Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Right. You better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. He could just hide in this room. Like, somewhere over here. Not end up like that, dude. All right, let's get back in here. So one of them, we have to go on foot. Okay. Wow, this is wild. This is so cool. I'm sorry, I can't stop freaking out. <gasps> All right. So let's try to find the next one. I don't know why it's like all red over there. Can I have a map? Okay. All right. So we need to turn around and then head right. I didn't realize there was a map. Great. Jetpack. Engaged. It's kind of just like a jump. It's kind of, it's not really a boost. It's just like a, <laughs> like a parkour. What is this question mark? I don't know what the question mark is. Transmission tower. Fusion torch. Transmission tower. Should I be going to the transmission tower? No, no, no. no. Let's just go to the second one. Also, I don't know what's up here. I want to go towards this question mark. Sorry, I have ADHD. <laughs> Come hear me. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. No. See if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing... I just want to see what this question mark is, but it's not getting like, we're not getting any closer to it. Am I? Oh, I guess I am. All right, what is this? Oh, it's like a, okay. Wait, how do I get out again? X, Z, V, Q, Q. Oh, nice. Metagel. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journal journals from a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts from several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57 rocking this station since 2182. When your world seems hollow, we help, we help you touch the sky. Talk card. Your last best hope for a rock within 300,000 kilometers. <laughs> Why is all of the music in here the literal worst? And it's always that awful elevator music. <laughs> all right. Well, what an interesting find. All right, let's go back down. All right, I wonder if there's any fall damage. We're gonna learn. We're gonna see. We're kind of like falling with style off this. <gasps> oh, geez. Okay, that actually, we didn't take any damage. Ooh, this one looks like the one with all of the mines. All right, so let's go around and like destroy these turrets first. There's two more. Ground penetrating radar detects anti vehicle demolition nearby. Proceed on. I wonder if I can just like. Oh, look, you can see them. 
I wonder if I can just blow them up with my gun. No, they don't do anything. I guess they're like pressure sensitive or something. Okay. Oh, there's a lot. There's like a lot on that hill. I'm trying to look at the best way to get inside. I guess just going straight. Hopefully it's fine. <gasps> look at the map. Whoa. <gasps> it doesn't look like there's that many on my map. Okay, it's fine. Let's just try not to hit any of them. Hang on, let me take out my... Just because I want to see, like, far away what it looks like. Okay. So we got to make it to that door, I think. I think that's a door. Shouldn't be too bad, right? <gasps> what was that? Holy crap, what is happening? What are they shooting at? Is there someone over there? I wish we could just destroy it. What is that? <gasps> That's a person! Oh my gosh. As if this wasn't crazy enough. How long can my grenade reach out far ahead? Oh, uh, he can go kind of far. Not that far. All right, let me go towards these Maybe these, like, blocks out here? <gasps> I don't know what that means. <gasps> okay, so I guess when it's, like, beeping like that, bad things are about to happen. I don't know. It just sounds like it's... Okay, so that... Oh, boy. This is like a game of... What was that one game with, like, the X's and the... <gasps> oh, look. On my mini-map, it shows... Oh, okay, nice. I wasn't looking at the mini-map. I thought that I was gonna have to listen. All right, there are a few more baddies. Oh, look, there's one there. How's everyone's health doing? Are we good? All right, let me just, um, sorry. I'm still trying to get used to this wonky control, gun control, swapping back and forth. Okay, he's down. There's one more. I see his red marker. There he is. Disarm blasting caps. Wow. Okay. Well, that's nice. At least we don't have to deal with it on the way out. That's very nice. Should probably be prepared for another adventure in here. Um, I think I'm gonna swap to my shotgun. Are they okay? Guys, back up if you're not good. Let me switch back to this. Uh... I saw him for a split second. Oh, it's like some sort of flying machine. I don't know 
what I'm looking at right now. Okay. Yeah, it's some sort of flying machine. I'm scared to go out there because there's a lot going on out this way. Is it behind the thing? All right, let me see what you guys got going on. Let's give you a shield boost. You can disable some stuff because those things that are flying around look like they're very techy. So disable if you can. <gasps> Dang, is everyone okay? All right, everyone's health looks fine. They're doing some sort of like crazy blast thing right now. Let's get out of this area. Dang. All right, I'm going to bring out a different gun. Shots in the head do you can you handle? <laughs> Apparently a lot. Alright, I'm gonna throw the grenade there over there. That didn't do anything. Can I throw one up here? Here it comes. I'm out of grenades. Like he is the chonkiest dude I've ever seen. All right, he's finally done. I'm going to run across and take on these guys. Holy heck. Come on, peek out. I can't tell if there's one or two back there, so I'm nervous. There we go. It was just him. Okay, there's another one. I think it's the one that's like flying around. Is he over here? Oh, there is one. Okay. These things are nuts. All right, there's one down. There's two more. They're both probably like flying up there so let's get in the store um all right not the door i'm looking for these guys are so annoying That one's done. There's apparently actually two more upstairs too. Rocket drones. Let's see if there's stairs this way. Yep. <laughs> Scared me. Oh, there's another person up here too. All right. It's all right. We're okay. There's a lot more of them up here. But I can't shoot. Here it comes. Okay, he's down. Drones are crazy. Okay. Shoo! 
There's a lot going on in here. Okay, Metagel. Ooh, I might not make it on this one. Uh-oh. Okay, whoo. <laughs> I started to panic. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you don't make it. All right, there's one other guy. Oh, it's another drone. That's the last of them. Okay, it blew itself up. Nice. Disable torch. Let's go. Are you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Okay. Their leaders setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there. Don't shoot, please. No. Oh boy. What was that smile? Who's shutting down the torches? Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here. Wait, did they actually kill that guy or they left him? They see why are they doing this? Why would you spare a life when you're over here like murdering people? I don't know. That's that was a really strange encounter. Also, wow, she really did not care if her colleague died. She's like, I'm not giving away any of my secrets. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's get to the next place. This is crazy that this is like a side quest. This isn't even like a main quest. This is a side quest. This is crazy. Absolutely wild. All right, I do have two upgrade points. I'm going to go ahead and sink them into Spectre training. And I think we're probably going to do like Sniper after that. As long as I have someone with me that is good on electronics, I think we're fine. All right. We go. So the next one is over to our right. So if we just keep going right, we should find it. kind of like launch myself over this rock yeah i see it on the map now and a bunch of the bomb things the turrets okay why aren't they coming out hello i'm here you can shoot at me happening now okay, let's just keep moving in a circle down. Ooh, nice. I like this little hole that we're in. Ooh, it can still get to us here. Okay. All 
All right, one more. It's this one. Nice. All right, so what is this? Entrance console? Pass card is required to open the door of the main facility. What? So we'll probably have to come back here after we find everybody else. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably have to come back here. We don't have a pass key. But where are the other two? There's a fusion torch. Oh, main facility. Okay, so let's head for the other um, fusion torch then. Can't tell if I'm heading the right way or not. Yes, we are. Okay, so if I just keep going straight, we should be there soon. I didn't realize it was a main building. I thought that they were all torches. <laughs> oh boy. Wee! That hurt a little bit. <laughs> I hope they make some sort of like TV series. I know I'm only like a couple episodes in to Mass Effect, but I've been really enjoying the whole like sci-fi, um, the sci-fi everything, storyline, combat, all of it. It's been, it's been really cool. more on the other side. There's one here. There's one all the way over there, but it's back in its cage. Okay. I'm on my way. So are they in this one or are they in the main building one? I don't actually know. There's a lot of guys in here, though, so we need to be careful. I think I'm going to stick with my sniper rifle for a bit and let them just kind of, like, do what they're doing. Okay. Release the Baron! Yeah, this is going much more smoothly. <laughs> There's one on the other side of this wall. No scope. Um, looks like there's maybe like four or five more. Okay. Move up. Warm up. Someone move out. They're not listening to me. <laughs> Go over on the other side. They're just hiding. All right, well, he's dead. Alive. He must be a chonkers. Okay. One more dude. Oh, he's hiding. Dang, you scared me. Okay. Oh, I was trying to do grenade, but we don't have any more. <laughs> It's crazy that this is on veteran mode. I should definitely be dead, like, many, many times. It's wild that I have been surviving. 
this. I mean, I know I'm still trying to get used to combat and this is like the easier areas because we're still starting out, but I feel like I should have died at least a bunch of times. At least a handful by now on veteran mode. Goodness. Good thing I didn't pick normal. I would have been falling asleep over here. Okay, let's decrypt this. Ooh, what are those? Mm, no. 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 We have some medium armors. Who can wear medium? Can you wear medium, Rex? Yeah, he can wear medium. Tech, biotic protection? Mm, no. He doesn't really need that. And I think she only wears light armor, I believe. Let's get rid of... Actually, we could sell these for money. We could save all of the armor and just sell it for money. I don't know if there's like an inventory cap. But it doesn't really look like it. Alright, let's disable this torch before bad things happen to good people. Alright. So, what next? I don't know where else we're supposed to go besides that main place. Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Whoa, hello? Sir? Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. Peacefully? I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. Attack him? It's gone way too far. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. It is up to you. You're the leader of this. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. Why do you follow him? So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Bollock wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Forget him. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. It'll be fine. I'm quicker. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Lilo Dallas Multipass. Did we open this door before? <laughs> I don't think so. No, because I wouldn't have been able to hack into this one. Hmm. Accuracy is better, but the heat sink is awful. What about this sniper? Accuracy, heat sink is one less, but the accuracy goes up. Hmm. I think I might actually equip that one. Okay. As far as this one goes, I'm gonna say no. Okay. What's that? Nice. Alright, let's get out of here and head to that main area. Apparently we have to go kill someone over there. <laughs> to make all of this stop. What a crazy, like, 
Oh, I just need to make some extra cash. Let's kill four million people and an entire planet. No biggie. Nuts. All right, so let's head back. To our left. So over this way. Nice, we leveled up. So let's go ahead and put a couple into here. Actually, I could get to the next one. Next shot will inflict damage equal to 250% weapon DPS. Burge's weapon heat on use. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, assassination damage bonus. Let's go. And then I will throw the next one into Intimidate since we already have that one. I know you guys are telling me just to put them in like one or the other. I might just keep Intimidate on that last bump there. And then I'll just put the rest into Charm. Just for options. I'm still going the right way. It's over to our left more. Oh yeah, I remember this hill. We're definitely getting closer because you can like, you can just tell. It's kind of wild. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool how you feel like we're getting closer and bad things are about to happen. Okay, let's get out. We finally have the key card. Let's see who's in here. Some guys up here. <gasps> Dang! That was intense. These guys are tough. Yeah, come back over here. Come peek the corner. You okay? All right, let me take a look at what's going on here for a second. Add a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage but cannot block attacks. Mm. Damage is all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable. Um, throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. That actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that one too. Try to get higher ground here. they're shooting at. wild he walked like right past rex and the other lady like it was nothing okay 
Oh, wow. They're really coming up on us. Okay, give me one second. Let's take out the, uh, the blaster. <laughs> behind us how's everyone's health you guys okay okay i'm overheated like severely overheated these guys are chonkers Okay, let's heal a little bit. I need to get into a better position. They just keep like flying up these stairs at us. There we go. Who else is over there? There's someone down here. Okay. All right, we'll try to find these last two guys. That was nuts. I don't see anybody. Looks like they're below me. I don't know what these areas are supposed to be. Okay, here's some people down here. There's a few more outside. One of them is a robot. Okay. That one's down. There's two more. I don't know what that is. I think it's just oh, an explosion thing. Okay. Oh, there's one down here. And then the next one. Oh, it's a robot. Okay. Right here. All right, done. Is that all of them? There's still one more red showing on my map, like straight ahead. Don't know where they are. They must be like down there. Let's go down this last level. Yeah, they're like shooting into the... Oh, here he is. Okay, he was hiding. <laughs> nice. Okay, there is still another one too. It's probably a robot of some sort. Over in here. Okay. You human. That was a fun fight. It was kind of wild, though. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Um, what are you doing? Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council, or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. It's not that easy. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why are you blaming us? Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you 
You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. Doesn't make it right. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. That's why we attacked you at Elysium. That's why I'm doing this. You forced our hand. It's not true. You attacked us first. When we retaliated, you ran off to the council hoping for help. When you didn't get it, you hid. You've got no one to blame but yourselves. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. If you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. I feel like he should die. I feel like he deserve he deserves to go. But the there's been enough death and I want to save everybody. But what stops him from just doing what he's done before? If I attack him, do the hostages die? If you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. This is a hard choice. Oh man. Maybe I'll be able to like attack him and murder and kill him and then we can sa still save them. I don't think he should get away with what he's doing. He's just going to keep doing it. He hates humans. I'm going to attack him. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it. Plus, maybe he won't kill them. I'm gonna enjoy cutting you. He killed them. He killed them. <laughs> oh no. Where is he going? have saved the other people i didn't realize that he was gonna do that i was thinking that like maybe since he spared that other guy's life for whatever reason he would do the same thing now i'm feeling sad all right let's wait for it to cool down we're almost there not able to like get the kill on this guy oh he's just a bodyguard too <laughs> he's still alive <laughs> oh my goodness you humans think you're so superior but you're no better than us you threw it away! <laughs> Who's the real terrorist here? I really want to kill him. I gave you a chance to save them and you threw it away. Who's the real terrorist here? You're delirious. You're about to kill all of those people. I have to kill you. You and I are nothing alike. You killed those people. You pushed the button. And now you'll pay for it. Go ahead, kill me. I'm not afraid to die, but know this. <coughs> One day soon, the human race is going to pay for what it's done. Graze him? <laughs> it's not likely. You're just a demented madman who gets off on killing humans. Don't try to make it sound like some holy crusade. It is a crusade. <coughs> and we won't stop until we wipe your filth from the universe. The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored. Not anymore. You're a 
thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. Thousands? And they chose you for this mission? Then I guess we have nothing to worry about. Believe what you want. When the vids flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> A rebellion? Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? <laughs> I'm through talking. <laughs> Just kill me. Get it over with. Leave him for the alliance? Let him to die or kill him? I think we should leave him for the alliance. He needs to... He, he has some answering to do. You're not gonna die. We'll drop you off on Terra Nova and let alliance officials deal with you. I doubt they'll be too friendly. <coughs> this isn't over! <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <coughs> is it safe? It's safe. That was the last of them. Can you tell if the asteroid's stable? You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? You want to sit down? I feel so bad that we killed them. I was hoping, like, I kind of knew that it was like, if I chose one, I'd be able to save them. And then, like, if I chose to kill him, it would he would probably kill them but in the back of my mind i was like maybe he'll not press the button or blow them up or whatever because he also spared that this guy or that other guy that he held at gunpoint with katie and i feel bad now i feel really sad that they had to die they didn't deserve that death but at the same time, like the guy that we caught and it is our mission to bring people to justice so it just really stings that they had to die. I'm sorry, Simon. Balak took Kate and some others as hostages. There was a bomb in their cell. I'm not kidding, are you? Oh, God. I'm sorry. How could this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? The cost was too high. Yes, I could have. If I let the Batarians go. But then they might have done the same thing to another colony. Or two more. Or a dozen. That doesn't... I know in my head what you're saying makes sense. It's just a little hard to see the big picture right now, all right? I Shepherd, understand. Thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. That's really Before a good I go, idea. I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. Mm. Human light armor, medium, heavy, Quarian armor, or the Omni tool. Ooh, like an upgraded Omni tool? I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni tool of yours, I could really use something like that. Shepard, I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni tool compared to that? Take it, with my blessing. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? How do I track them? Not yet. Can you think of anything that would help me find them? See if you can tap into our transmission tower out on the surface. Their equipment sheds will show up on your sensors. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Ooh, Savant 5. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I'm really sad that it went down that way. I'm really sad that they died. I didn't mean for Katie and her crew to get dead. I just, I thought that it was more important to save him. And now I'm having second guesses. Now I'm having a second thought that like I should have saved them instead. Oh man. All right. Wow. Look at this thing. 
Shield bonus, 35. Tech cooldown bonus, 39. Med recharge bonus. Holy schmolies. You will definitely be taking that. Did we get any better guns? No. You don't have an Omni Duel, do you? And yours is the same as mine. I mean, we could give the better one to her, but... Um... That's okay. All right. Restores dead squad members with 40% health and 75% shields. Um, I feel like I should start focusing on either electronics or decryption. Decryption skill to open secure, secure objects. Grants the sabotage ability when it shuts down enemies. Weapons within a certain radius. Cool. So they're giving him a lot of like beefed up armor. Um, his battle master is full. Okay. What about her? They're focusing on electronics and decryption with her. Okay. So I think as long as we have like Tally with us, we shouldn't really need to focus on electronics. I think we'll be fine if we just don't worry about that. Like decryption and electronics at all. Let's try to get tactical armor up next. Actually. Yeah, we're going to try to get this unlock fitness next because then that will increase our health, which I think is really important. All right, let's get off this crazy. Damn it. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you could actually go into the room. Oh, that makes me feel even worse. I'm just gonna kind of like walk around and see if there's any loot or anything in here that we can use. I didn't really see much of anything though. I wonder if we can go in this door down here. Grenade storage box. Nice. <sighs> I guess it's good that like, you know, justice is being served. They'll be able to question the guy and hold him accountable for what he did and almost did. But I can't help but feel really sad about how it went down. I feel like I could have made better decisions. Okay. When I asked him about his crew, he was just talking about... He was just talking about the ones that had died, right? I don't think he was talking about anything else. Crazy. All right, let's go back to the Normandy. We will return. Actually, let me take a look at my journal real quick. Let me see. There are three engineers missing on the surface. Oh, okay, so we still haven't found them. If they're alive, they need to be rescued. If they're not, someone should be told where they are. Himes, Mendel, and Montoya. Okay. So they're somewhere out here on this surface. Um... Hades Gamma Cluster. 
Ward Freighter. So did we complete the one where the guy was looking for his brother? I thought that was the whole reason why we went here. was because there was something on this rock. Hades Gamma Cluster. Um, Gareth, right? Gareth fears that his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while traveling through the Strenus system. Oh. So we just went here for no reason. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find these people since, you know, we murdered other ones by accident. And maybe, just maybe, if we can find this missing crew, we'll be able to bring him some peace. That at least some of his crew is found. Where to even begin looking, though? I do not know. Transmission tower? Have we been to the transmission tower? I don't think we have. He said something about the transmission tower, too. Let's go see if they're over there. Are these things still going to shoot at me? Okay, so it's like over to my left. I wonder if I can get over there. Look, here's a question mark over here. Let's go see what this is. Maybe it's something important. What is this? Oh no, there's a body on the ground. Oh no. Body of T. Slage. The scorching of this victim's hard suit suggests he escaped the burning interior of his vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Great. It's unfortunate. Whoops. I don't think I'm allowed to go. Warning. Approaching operational boundary limits. Yeah. Imminent. I thought you were about to like self destruct to make me jump. <laughs> All right, let's go back over this way. And once we get over this hump here, I'll make a right. All right, so that other place was like over in this area. Maybe we have been to the transmission tower. I just can't really remember. I'll just keep looking around. I wish points of interest would just like show up on the map, but I guess that defeats the point of exploring for them. All right, I think this is the transmission tower over here. Let's see. Oh yeah, I remember. This one. Cause I was like, what is this? And 
I don't even know if we actually got out. Let's repair this. Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations has been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. Nice. Okay, survey station locations. Okay. Vehicle wreckage. Uh, there's one back here. All right, so let's go to this one first, I guess, since we're already over here. Or we could just keep going straight. Which way are we facing? All right, so if we go like straight to our left, we should reach it. I think I just knocked that thing off <laughs> the ground. All right. Oh, okay. Thought we were going to explode. Oh, hello. I wonder why we're still getting like missiles fired at us. So we should technically be safe now. All right, I'm going to go over in this area. Am I near it? I think this might be it ahead of us. Nope, that's the radio tower. So we need to go right. This thing is not easy to drive. <laughs> All right, are we still going the right way? Yeah, as long as I keep going straight, I should make it there. over this way oh look oh it's so tiny <gasps> the door is like blown off of it I'm on my way. what is that a secure crate oh so some loot severely burned showing signs of major concussion trauma mercifully the explosion would have killed her instantly everyone's dead this is dr himes they found me damn batarians i can hear them out there prowling around trying to find a way in it sounds like they're attaching something to the door if i don't make it tell my family i love it's really sad Oh boy. On the body of Himes, Mendel and Montoya are still missing. So they must be like at the other stations as well. Okay. So if I just keep going straight to my left here, maybe a little bit more, um, I'll make it to the other station. Guess not. Hey, the door's not blown off. Maybe he's safe inside. Oh, please be safe. Oh. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. <sighs> Survey Station 3 final entry logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do. When Sludge shows up to revive, relieve me, 
I'll go see if I can get the other girl, the old girl back up and running. He, w he had no idea. He was completely caught off guard. It's really sad. Well, this one is better. I mean, I could take this one. It's a shield bonus, med recharge bonus, and attack cooldown. I could take this one and then give the other one to... Or I could just give this one to Tally. I just feel bad having the better Omni tool when she's the one that uses it more. All right, to the last one, and I'm pretty sure we know how this is gonna go. All right, so let's see. If I turn myself this way, and I just go straight and a little bit to the left, I should get there. Okay, I see it now. Should be over here. Oh, very bumpy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I see it in the... <gasps> Looks like he died from a single shot through his helmet, likely from a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment in the service pack. Let's go check the station. These poor guys. So we literally killed everyone. That makes me feel 10 times even worse. As if I wasn't already feeling really bad about our decision. I feel even worse now. Hard and great, decryption skills are too low. Okay. Communications are down and there are non-corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There are flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain, but I'd guess that it's some heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defense drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup. I'm going to investigate. Holy heck. Whoa! It was the drones. The drones killed him. That's why his body also wasn't looted. Dang. There's another one. It's right here. All right, we're good. Do we have to go back and talk to him? No. Our mission here is done. Wait, what was the bringing down the sky? Missing engineers. Yeah, we found all three. All right, so that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right, now on to Pharaohs. We made our. We made our stop here. It's time for us to go. We caused enough harm here. Yeah, I did not want it to go down like that here. I think it probably could have gone a lot better. I'm unfortunate that it had to end that way. All right, I'm just gonna kind of look through some of our loot here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these ones. As far as the Polaris 3, um, I'll hang on to it for now. And we'll sell most of this medium armor. Ah, oh, look, we got Renegade. We got more Renegade. That's probably from killing those people. 
for sure from killing those people by accident. I mean, it wasn't really an accident. We made our choice. In the Exodus cluster. Okay, so this is the Exodus cluster. Cool. The Milky Way. I missed that last time. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to Pharos. Um, this area. And go see what's happening over here. Asaeus. at least complete one of the main quest things today i did not think that a side mission would be like that that is this is absolutely crazy i have a feeling we're gonna be in this game for a while <laughs> and i know a lot of you guys said for me to kind of like take my time or not take my time but kind of like rush through mass effect one because apparently two and three are a lot better but we'll see we'll see i can't leave a good side quest undone it's hard. The Exogeni Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumpled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin, the farthest, and Vardit. Colony founded in 2178, population 300. The capital of, is the Exogeni building. This is where we're going, right? For our Pharaoh mission? Mission? We're here. Pharaoh's Geth attack. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharaohs. Your primary objective is to go to Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. Okay, here we go. I think is that Commander? Oh, I miss Commander. How do I get out of this ship? I can't remember which way we came in. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I don't remember how we got here. Is this one of the things? Calm link? No, that's not something. Let's see. There has to be like a bay, a door somewhere. I think when I got on the ship, it just kind of like put me in the middle here. Oh, here's an exit day. Okay. All right, let's take the same people with us. I've been kind of like hanging out with like Rex and Tally. I think Rex and Tally bring like a good mix of things. Kaden is also really cool. Like, I like Kaden as well. But I feel like I don't need, like, double tech strength. So maybe she could just... We could find someone that focuses mainly on biotics. Because what do I bring to the table? I bring a little bit of tech and a little bit of combat. Yeah, that's why, like, Rex is good with us. Caden's good too. Because we could just do like Caden and Ashley. What does it look like if I bring Caden and Ashley on for today? Uh, our combat strength is pretty high, which would be good if we are about to go into war of any sort. Let's, let's hang out with Caden and Ashley for good time, for good old time's sake. Do you guys stick with like the same squad members 
or interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Do you like flip flop between Wrong. like who, you're, who you pick? Is ashore. I want to know. Exo Presley has the deck. What an introduction. This place looks like a prison. Who's this? We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. <gasps> Holy hell! There's another one? There's more. The radar is being jammed. What the heck is going on? They've definitely already infiltrated the area. How was that guy just standing on the deck like that? How's everyone's health? We're good. Oh my goodness, game. All right. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to be going, but we're we're going there. Zoo's hope. Okay, that's where we're. I remember reading that on the journal log. What was that? Oh, <gasps> what is that? Ew. Why is it so slimy and, and squirmy? Kaden, where are you going? Is he running back to the ship? He's like, no, I'm out. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Holy crap. A guest stalker? Wow, this thing is wild. Okay, good. How's everyone's health doing? We're fine. All right, are we good? Okay. Man, that guy was crazy. Okay, we can't get in that way. <gasps> okay, these are colonists. I come in peace. Those geth are bloody dangerous. Yeah, they are. You guys good? See some soldiers. Our numbers again. They're definitely here to conquer. What is this? While decrypting these logs, we found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears that they may have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. Human rations? Why? Okay, let's try to find whatever this explanation point is. There, there, there. My headaches are getting better. The Geth just keep coming. What are you, like a medical person? My wife needs rest. Oh, the your wife? Are making things worse. Okay, sorry. There's like bombs going off outside your door and you're like, we need to rest. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Hey, it's Fi, uh, oh, Fi Dan. Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony. I 
need some help. Patching you up. Let's move out. Dang, there's a lot of them. There's like three more over there as well. Group up. One more to the left there. Okay. Nice. shields. Alright, there's two more over there. Oh. I think he's still alive. Oh, they just keep coming. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna try to chuck a grenade over there. Do anything. Gas destroyer. Right, he's no longer right. Where else? Over to my right. Nice. I think there's still one more. He's hiding. He's done. This place looks awful. Why would they make a human colony here? On the other safe. After an update, we can head out for the main Geth encampment. Like, it just looks terrible here. No wonder why they uninhabited it. It looks like prison. It's awful here. Okay, let's take all the loots. Let's see. Does he need a better Omni tool? Ooh, yeah, he could definitely use that. We'll turn that one into Omni gel. What about you? How's your armor doing? You're not really a tech person, so this one would actually be pretty good for you. Ooh, or she could wear heavy armor. Yeah, let's have her wear the heavy armor now that she can wear that. Nice. And you can't wear any of those. Okay. We're stuck in this scorpion one for life. I guess we can only wear light armor, but for some reason, I i don't know why I can't wear this one, even though it's light. Or this one, even. Like, it's very strange that I'm not able to, to wear those. Is it because they're not human? Maybe? But we're gonna sell all of those armors for money because I think the armor was actually worth some money so we could like trade all of those in for like a light armor that we can actually wear I just need to figure out why I can't wear any of the light armors that I've been picking up I've been stuck in this level one suit for a while not really sure why I can't wear different ones 
So what are we what are we doing right now? We talked to that guy for like 0.5 seconds. Inform Fidan. Uh, tell Fidan that the Geth have been cleared from the tower. Okay, so I need to go back and talk to this dude. Let's do that. It's just weird that his like marker isn't picking up. I think he was down this way. Yeah, down here. What is that? This thing is so awful. He's still alive? Oh, there's another one. Okay. going the wrong way yeah we're definitely going the wrong way geth transmitter i'm lost is this where we came in this looks wild yeah this looks like where we came in all right i'm so like turned around in this whole area Let's go back up the stairs and see if I can find that one area that we were in with everybody in there. Must have passed it somehow. Elevator, oh, presently out of power. Okay. Out of service. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe it was this way. This looks like it. Okay. He's just still chilling here. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Don't worry. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Where is it located? How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. The Skyway? Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. We're prepared. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. We read about that. The food rations. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. Davin If you can assist, Reynolds. please speak with him. Davin Reynolds. Hmm. Okay. What about water? Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. And the power? What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Okay. I'll talk to you when I learn more. It sounds like we have our work cut out for us for sure in this area. Okay.
All right, so first things first. Go to Exogeny headquarters. Okay, so we're gonna make our way to the Exogeny headquarters for sure. We also need to figure out what happened with the food and why there's, the strange thing is there's nothing out that would make the warrant such a demand for supplies. Go to the Amazon system. Oh yeah, that's where they said, that's where we read that it was um, stuck. Okay. Um, we also need to find the geth that are in the tunnels. Hunt in the tunnels beneath Zoo's hope for remaining geth forces and their transmitter. All right, so let's let's go ahead and clear them out of the tunnels. So we gotta go, yeah, stairs down to the tunnels. Okay, so we were kind of there. Um, I just got very turned around. I also have no idea how to go to the, um, that main place that we're supposed to go to. Exo Jenny headquarters. Take the elevator from Zeus Hope down to the Prothean Skyway. Use your vehicle to make your way to the Exo Jenny headquarters and investigate the Geth activities. Take the elevator from Zeus Hope. We don't have I don't have an elevator operational right now. Let me see if I can find someone to talk to about the food, the water. He mentioned a couple people. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Excuse me? What are you talking about? I get the feeling you don't like me. <laughs> How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. I'm done talking to this lady. Goodbye. We're coming here and we've Commander. saved you. We're here helping you and you still have nothing good to say. What an ungrateful person. Um, what is this explanation point? Oh, Fidon. Commander, what can I do for you? What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. Hmm. Okay. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. All right. Let's keep looking around. At least now they have a marker for where he's standing. Let me see. Oh, David Reynolds. He's in charge of the water. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Oh, he's the food guy. Okay, you need food? Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I could fly supplies in. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Hmm. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Okay. I have to go. So long, Commander. So he needs to hunt. Here's May. She's trying to fix the power. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I'll see what I can do. Normandy power. Normandy's power cells. Hmm. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. Your top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. 
If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Okay, so maybe we'll find some stuff. These are just colonists. Ooh, Greta Reynolds. She sounds familiar. Not the best shot, but I'll do what I can. Or maybe not. Ashley will... Oh, this is our Ashley. All right. So, I... Poor guy. I think that we should go... Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Available? Oh. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Interesting. We'll just go ahead and purchase this license. How do we have so much money? When did that happen? We still can't afford anything. But we have more coin than we've ever had before. Oh yeah, finishing out the Keeper's Quest gave us a lot of money. Is she okay or is she... She's fine. She's just relaxing. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, there's more people over here. Clear out the tunnels. I think we should go do that. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. Can you fly it? What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Goodbye. Good luck out there. This work must be completed. This work must be completed. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's go to the tunnels. Clear them out. See what happens. See if we can find something down there that's like worth salvaging so we can get these elevators back online. I think while we're in close quarters, I'm just going to use my assault rifle for now. All right. So. Let me look at my map real quick. This is the elevator. It's currently unoper unoperable. So we got to go straight to get to the stairs, right? Wait, what's this area? Oh, yeah, yeah. This was the place where we fought those guys. I don't think I looked all the way on the other side of this place. Is there anything over here? Oh, we did, because I looted that area. Okay. Oh, I'm fatigued. All right. So we'll just keep going this way. I guess where the Normandy was was in a different area, but they all look the same because everything here is so just concrete and dark and awful. I don't know how they let people just live here. It's terrible. I feel bad for these people. All right. So there are a few to my right. I see them on the radar. How do I get down there? That's a cubby. Maybe through this way. All right, found him. Is that thing still alive? We're good. Water valve. Ooh, nice. We can get some water back online. This valve looks like part of a large system. 
There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay. Let's see if we can find the other ones. That's just a cubby. Maybe we can go down here too. Yeah, there's some people down here. Why did he rush us like that? There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated though. We should keep looking. Holy moly. Wait, what was that? Geth transmitter? Do we need to go get that? I feel like that's what we're kind of looking for. Oh my god, that's a guy. Let me go see what this geth transmitter is. I don't know what that could be. Oh, you know what? I have to go around, don't I? This place is a maze. Let me just go see what that is. I must have, like, passed right by it. I also want to see if there's another water valve on the other side of that wall. Like, by the doorway. Because this one actually kind of snuck up on me. I think it's across the hall here. Oh, okay, so we didn't even come this way. <gasps> Holy heck. They mean business up in there. There's nowhere to take cover. Meds? Alright, I'm gonna take cover behind this wall. How's everyone else's health doing? Everyone seems okay. There's one more in here. I'm not sure where they are though. There's actually a couple more by the transmitter. rushing me wow that was actually scary okay i think there's one more chonker over there they're like juggernauts let me get my blaster out and start blasting now that i know what they're capable of Good as new. dang nice got him there's one more. You okay, Kaden? He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's dying. He's okay. He's still alive. This guy is also still alive. Holy smokes. Is he dead or is he alive? Are you good, Kaden? You had like one health point left there. <laughs> he was totally about to die. Wow, that was wild. All right, there's some sort of transmitter over here. What was that? I still can't wear any of those. This pistol's actually pretty good. I think I might give it to Ashley, though. Um, Yeah, you go ahead and take that one. And we'll get rid of this one. Twenty one damage, one oh four. Okay. What about you? Can you wear any of these? No. I must have to just like put some points into my into my armor or something. Oh, that's right, because we don't really have that many. That many points into the armor. Okay. Ooh, an, an accuracy increase. Let's go. 
and a shield bypass. Nice. All right, Caden, I don't know what he really uses that often, but we should probably put some stuff on his, like some damage upgrade, um, as well as maybe like a heat absorption. Yeah, let's do heat, heat sink. And then Ashley, you don't have anything on your suit. Let's give you a medical upgrade. Same with Kaden, he needs that. Um, actually, is there anything for his suit that is like for robotics? Hardening, shield battery, shock absorber. Hmm, I think I might just do... Like a shield battery or something, plus 50 shields. Because he's kind of like squishy, I don't know. He just seems like he would be kind of squishy. You can't put anything extra on those, okay. Um, if he does happen to use... His shotgun, it would be nice to have some sort of upgrades on there. We're like about to go through a lot of stuff just to get these transmitters. So that's why I'm upgrading all of their stuff right now. I just feel like it's kind of important. Let's put some stuff on her pistol, like shredder rounds. And we could do like combat sensor because we're getting silenced a lot here. Okay, um, I also wanted to look at something real quick. I think I'm gonna do medical interface instead of this one because it's better. All right. So where's this transmitter? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Some armor upgrades. Am I supposed to like blow this up here? Huddle up. Come over here. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with these transmitters? Everyone, come over Roll here. Around. Go there. Go here. I need to throw a grenade at this thing. Get down. Spotted. Nice. Okay. I didn't see that it had like the the health bar on the side there. That was wild. <laughs> All right. So it's completely destroyed now. Doesn't look like it's doing it. I mean, it's like still pulsating and there's still an X, but I think it's done. All right, so let's go back out and talk to that creepy guy that was like in the middle of the area where there's a bunch of geth in the tunnels and he's just chilling there. Let's go see what he has to say. Ian Newstead. What are you doing? You don't want to go down there. Who are you? What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. <laughs> no! ah! That was a good one. Very intense. Um are you okay? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? The what? You're not the only one interested in those things. What do you mean? Who else is looking for the geth? Not looking for, looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- dying! Ah! <laughs> 
He's lost it. We should just leave him be. Can I help him? Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? <laughs> help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting? Fighting what? <laughs> Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! This guy is a wackadoodle. Is he just standing there? He he's he's lost it, completely lost it. Can you move out of the way, you psychopath? What a weird individual. What was that? That wasn't creepy. Um, okay. I think that we should probably leave this guy to his ultimate demise. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. Yeah, he's definitely lost it. I feel bad for him. All right. Let's go talk to, uh, to our guy again. I think that's the next part of this, right? Um, there's the power cells. So power cells, we need to find them. Find the missing power cells. Varen meat. Yeah, find and kill Varen in the tunnels beneath Zoo's hope. I don't know where or who a Varen is, but we'll have to find it. Tell Fidan that you have destroyed the Geth transmitter. And we still need one more water valve somewhere. Is there anything down here? Because this is as far as it goes, right? And where are we? Yeah, we're in the tunnels right now. So where else are we supposed to go to find this stuff? I wonder. Wait, can we go down here? No, 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 no. There's no way to get in there. There's no water thing on the wall here. Because I know that one snuck up on me for sure. But I haven't seen any others down here yet. Let's look in here. <gasps> Are those the things that we should be hunting? <gasps> uh, okay, let's take out the shoddy. Yeah, this is the Baron. Where's the big, where's the big Baron at? These guys are nuts. All right, at least we brought them back some food. <gasps> it's the Alpha Baron. The Varid falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. Nice. So did we take the meat with us? Also, there's something else up here. Sludge canister. Uh, a pistol and a shotgun. Okay. Um, what's this? Remove power cell! This old disabled vehicle has more willing- was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Nice. Two birds, one stone. I didn't even know this room was in here. Ooh, a grenade upgrade. That's actually a big deal. Minus 29% max, max accuracy? Contains a small Bose Einstein con condensation, a mass of supercooled subatomic particles. When detonated, they are capable of snap freezing. Oh, <gasps> nice. Stinks that it's like less accurate, but still very cool. We also got a new shotgun. 
Wow, it does a lot more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And a new pistol. That's much better than the one that we have. I don't really use a pistol enough. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to... Um, actually, she has a good pistol. Okay. I'll equip it. Alright. We do have six points, so... We should put them into here, so now we have fitness. Equip medium armor and a boost shield. Yeah, let's go ahead and put them in here. I think it's important to get some more health. And then I'll put one in here. Nice. Collapse bridge section. Why is that a big deal? Like we can get out that way? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Inform Daven, deliver the cells. We still need to find that last valve. Where could it be? It for sure wasn't in here, right? Yeah, that's the one that we already did. Okay. And then we find found that crazy opening. So let's search. The crazy opening was actually there. Okay. <gasps> There's more. Holy heck. Okay. Spicy for a second. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, so it wasn't the entrance, and I just missed it. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure. I, I think we're in business. The water system is back online, Commander. Nice. It's like I'm pretty sure that if there was like a water thing by that door, I definitely would have missed it. All right. So let's go back. To the main area and turn in these quests. Hopefully we won't need any weapons right now. But it seems like they are respawning pretty frequently. <laughs> we should be able to get the elevator back online too. Yep, it's already back online. <laughs> We didn't even have to turn in the cells. How convenient. I think I'm going the wrong way again. This was the area where we fought those people. Where's what's his face? Oh, he's chilling over there. Is this where we're supposed to go, Caden? Over here? Is that why he's standing there? <laughs> no, this isn't. I get so lost in this area. I'm like the worst with directions here. Okay, here's the elevator. That's the area where we fought those people. So it has to be over here where the colony was, right? Okay, I just had to keep going and trust my gut. All right, I'm gonna go talk to the people first. They might be excited to hear about their food and water. And then I'll go talk to the main captain. Hello again, Commander. Alpha's dead. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. 
I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. <laughs> Just pay up. Okay. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. 1,900 coin? How is that not much? Holy heck. That is much. That is a, a lot much. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Take a look at these. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now, if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll Another. have up and running in no time. Another 1900. Holy schmoly, these people are rich. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. 4,000? Wow, these people are crazy. All right, so we completed everything. The water is back online. They have food. Let me go talk to the main captain and see what he has to say. Commander, what can I do for you? I stopped the Geth. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Okay, so now that we can use the elevator, we can go down. Um, what was that area called? The Exo Genai headquarters. Yeah, take the elevators down Zeus. Um, hope down to the Prothean Skyway. Use your vehicle to make way to the Exogeny headquarters and see why this happened. All right. Well, it seems like a good stopping point for today. I really don't want to stop playing, but it's been a little bit of a longer playthrough today. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, and call it for today. But today was good we did a lot of stuff i discovered that side quests can be very extensive very extensive if i go to a planet to just plan on spending a whole hour there riding around in a rover trying to blow up stuff <laughs> this game is much more than i thought it was gonna be i love games where the side quests aren't like go here do that rinse and repeat went to an entire asteroid today and that wasn't even part of our main storyline that was just another part of the game that you could or you could choose to leave or whatever it was just it was really 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 cool so thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope that you all enjoyed today's adventure if you have any tips tricks or anything that you want to post in the comments below please leave a comp Thank you to all of my new subscribers in here. I hope that you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as I am. And I definitely don't mind any backseating, but make sure that you're not putting any spoilers in the comments, which I haven't seen any so far. So thank you guys for not spoiling this amazing ride for me just yet. I am looking forward to getting deeper in the storyline, getting deeper into who Miss Shepard is here and our journey so far so thank you guys for joining me on another very epic adventure i hope to see you on the next one bye everybody